So everyone's been asking me to recommend some new anime to watch, so today I decided to speak about some new romance anime that got released in the last two seasons. So here are 10 new romance anime to watch in 2022. Let's go. Number 10, my stepmom's daughter is my ex. <laughs> Yep, it's Japan's messing with the family formula again. And just like the title says, this time the guy's ex-girlfriend is his stepmom's daughter. If you felt like something was wrong in that sentence, that's because you aren't used to seeing anime like this. But anyone who survived the domestic girlfriend hype train pretty much knows these sorts of anime are everyday occurrences by now. <laughs> If anyone wants to know the longer story, then this is about Mizuto Irito and Yume Aya. These two dated in middle school, started fighting over the most trivial things, and then broke up. But a few years later, when Irito's father remarries, the guy meets his new stepmom and her daughter. And surprise, surprise, it's anime going on the good old what are you gonna do Nissan route. But it's a pretty fun anime though. Number 9, Tokyo Mew Mew. <laughs> When the title has the word Mew Mew in it, you should know this anime is not something serious. So don't go expecting some severe heartaches and deep love story. Just go watch it for the comedy. Here we have a bunch of scientists creating a team of superheroines with amazing superhuman abilities. We follow Ichigo Moyamiya, who one day wakes up and discovers she's one of those superheroines. Now she has to stop an alien invasion dressed as a cat girl. Like I said, this isn't a serious show, but it knows how to use its comedic and fantasy elements really well, so give this one a shot. You'll love it. If you love cat girls, you'll love it more. Number 8, Harem in the Labyrinth of Another World. <laughs> Once again, we have a title that explains the basic premise of the show. We have a harem inside a labyrinth. What do we have? Well, we have a budgeted version of Raftalia. <laughs> Meet the high school student Micho Kaga, who like every unlucky, or lucky, isekai bastard that gets transported to another world where he can claim idol level girls. Look, let's be honest, the anime is only targeted to a specific audience, and if you aren't within that specific audience, this anime isn't for you. But one thing I've noticed is that this anime delivers on its promises. Don't know what I mean? I'll come back after watching the fourth episode. Number 7, Engage Kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs a yandre? I mean, come on, it's been some time since we had one of those. Here we have a pink yandre, a lazy guy, and his ex girlfriend trying to fight off various monsters. Isn't that cool? No, wait until you hear the rest. Here we go to Byron City, where every citizen is promised a luxurious and comfortable lifestyle. But there are demons who are a threat to humanity, and our main character, Shu Ogata, fights off these demons with his demonic partner, Kisara. Engage Kiss has a good balance of action and romance, but it fits very well with the whole rom-com genre. The main character is a love him or hate him fella, but the chemistry and the interactions between him and his demon partner is what makes this show so enjoyable. And also, this has a love triangle, so get ready for some who should I choose moments. Number 6, Vermel and Gold. <laughs> This guy summons a demon. That's it. I know, not a big deal. But the demon needs magical energy, so we need some callbacks to the Fate franchise to see how mana transfer is done. Jokes aside, the premise of this show is pretty simple. We have Alto, a boy who's not very skilled in magic, but ends up summoning the sealed demon, Veramil. <laughs> 
Now, if you think the guy can live happily ever after, then let me remind you that we have a childhood friend. As Veramil grows closer to our boy Alto, his childhood friend starts to grow more and more jealous. So, in a nutshell, this anime is about demons, love triangles, envy, and different ways you could transfer mana. If you ask me, this is a pretty fun anime, so why don't you just go give it a watch before you start complaining? Number 5, A Couple of Cuckoos. <laughs> Nope, this anime isn't about birds. We have two characters who were switched at birth, Nagi Umuno and Erika Amano. Once Nagi realizes what happened, he goes on to meet his real parents and friends Erika, a girl who asks him to be her fake boyfriend. It turns out her parents like this too. They agree to marry Nagi to Erika as a solution to the hospital switch. Now if you think, wow, these parents are crazy, then wait until the more crazier parts come in. This feels like this season's Girlfriend x Girlfriend, so you know you should go watch it to get some laughs out and enjoy a silly rom-com, not a heartbreaking romance show. And this is also one of the few anime to get 26 episodes. I know, imagine a harem anime getting 26 episodes. That is a completely new record. Number 4, The Greatest Demon Lord is Reborn as a Typical Nobody. <laughs> This is your typical overpowered guy reincarnated among some weak normie show you get every season. Looks like someone was inspired by Misfit of Demon King Academy. Here we meet the demon lord Varvatos who decides to reincarnate with his magical strength set to average. But when he gets reincarnated he finds out the rest of the people in this world are weak as hell. And guess what? Since this is anime he has ladies fawning all over him. <laughs> <sighs> now, the bad thing about this show is that you've seen all of this before, but the good thing is that this anime is pretty enjoyable despite being another copy of an overpowered demon lord. This doesn't have romance like some of the other anime in this list, but since this guy is a demon lord, he is like a walking magnet that attracts anime girls. Number 3, The Maid I Hired Recently is Mysterious. Time for some good old wholesome bullying. And this time our bully is a maid, because maids these days come out in different personalities. Here our maid has been hired to take care of her employer's son, Yuri. But this guy is way too delusional and thinks the maid is plotting something behind his back. The maid knows about this and teases him all the time. Yeah, this is also one of those wholesome maid shows where the maid-sama is a bully. <laughs> there is some great comedy in here, and honestly, I feel like this is one of the underrated shows out there. By underrated, I don't mean that there's some huge plotline going on here that'll blow your mind, but if you need a rom-com that can make you laugh while giving us a crazy main character and a maid, then this is the show for you. Number 2, Trapped in a Dating Sim. The world of Otame games is tough for mobs. <laughs> This is what happens when the ladies start ruling the Isekai world. In this dating game, the girls are the ones ruling the world. They sit around a round table and only beautiful and handsome men get to sit on the round table. Now, how can our average Joe win the hearts of these ladies? Well, it turns out this guy has already played the game, so once he gets trapped in it, he already knows all the tips and tricks he needs to rise up in the ranks and sit among the ladies. The twist of this show is that the main girl of the game is replaced by a shorter version of her who acts like a cocky brat. And the main character is overpowered as usual and knows how to kick the asses of the rest of the cast with his overpowered mecha. Yes, there are giant robots in this show as well. This is one of the more enjoyable anime shows I watched this season, so it deserves the second spot. Number one, Call of the Night. <laughs> Yeah, 
I was getting tired of vampires, so I almost decided to throw this one off, but when I randomly got to watch the first episode, I was immediately hooked. Like, seriously, this gives you a whole relaxing vibe. I don't know if it's the character design, the animation, the background art, or even the whole lo-fi soundtrack, because this one makes you want to wake up from bed and stop sleeping. It follows Ku Yamori, who has insomnia getting recruited by a vampire lady called Nazuna, who tries to transform into a vampire and fails. Well, it turns out the guy she bites needs to fall in love with the vampire that bites him in order for him to become a vampire. So Ku decides to fall in love with the vampire girl he just met so he can become a vampire and finally enjoy the night without falling asleep. For me, this has everything I want in anime to watch before I go to bed. And it's pretty relaxing and calming too. This is definitely going going to be a sleeper hit of this season, no pun intended.